Hi everyone, Brigitte here from For Your Head and Body of Knowledge 101. Um, this is a part of a series of videos that I'm going to be making on alternative hat blocks. So these are hat blocks that you can make yourself at home um, that are simple, easy to do, and made with inexpensive materials that really should be easy to find, I'm hoping. Um, this video I'm going to be testing out a block that I made. Um, it's a fedora style uh, block. Um, and I want to see how it actually stands up to water and the blocking process. Um, it was originally a soft form hat like this, um, but I've turned it into a solid, solid block. Um, if you want to see how I made this block uh, or other experimental hat blocks, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I'll post some links below. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do in this video. So I'm ready to get the roving laid out. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so I finished felting uh, this up. Um, this is the inside pattern that I have. Um, and this is what it looks like on what I'm going to be using is the outside. And now I'm going to get the uh, modified block ready and we'll try stretching it on there and see what kind of success we have. Okay, so I got my uh, modified hat block here and I'm going to put a piece of plastic on it, a plastic bag. And I got my um, hood here that I made. It's all rinsed out in hot water. Now I'm going to try and see if I can use this hat block. Okay, well, I'm not sure that I like it on the block, so I'm just going to change that up. See if I can work it better this way.
Well, it's not quite working as well as I want, but that's okay. Let's see if we can make it work. Block's holding out pretty good. It's pretty sturdy. I don't really feel it giving way under me. But I think it's going to be a lot of work trying to pull it through. I've got these clips here that I'm using. But so far, I'm not quite sure. But Usually, I'm not quite sure anyway how it's going to work. I always think it's going to fail, and it usually turns out. So, um, I usually just keep encouraging myself. So... I'm going to keep struggling with this and uh, I'll get it back into a better form. I have confidence and uh, we'll stop. Okay, so I did manage to get uh, the hood onto the uh, form that I made. Um, it just took a little bit of kind of um, pressing and pushing and pulling. And I originally secured it with um, a little type of uh, pin here. And I put a piece of fabric uh, to protect the wool because I found that this type of clip can put a little bit of uh, rust in there. So I exchanged it for some smaller clips and let it sit overnight and I'm just gonna take this off. Uh, it actually turned out a little bit better than I thought which is kind of always the case. And the block seemed to hold out pretty well. It's still rigid uh, so I think I could probably use it again and I will make some modifications on it there. So this is what hat looks like. And now I'm gonna take it off the form. So the form did stand up pretty well. I did notice when I was working on it, a little bit of um, flakes of this sawdust uh, came off, so I probably would uh, seal that so there's no little particles coming off. But still quite hard. And I think if I use it again, I would maybe apply another coat or seal it off. It's a little bit softer right at the edges. But um, anyways, now let's take a look at the hat. I think it turned out okay. I'll trim that up right around here and finish it up and okay so um, I am kind of pretty happy with this uh, kind of alternative hat block that I made. Um, considering I just used a cheap hat that I got at the thrift store, uh, varathane on the outside and inside, 
is uh, wood chips and glue. Um, I do think this could be used again. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, for uh, inexpensive half lock, um, the half that came out of it, I think will turn out pretty good once I uh, get it uh, all finished up. So um, if you want to see uh, how to make a half lock something like this, uh, check out my video that shows how to do that. So um, I appreciate any comments, suggestions that you have. If you try this out, I'd like to see if it worked for you. Um, and just want to encourage everyone to keep felting, keep experimenting. You never know. You just never know. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.